single drop of all you got Every single drop of all you got Every single bit of all you have Every single bit of all you have Why, hello there, my future subjects. My name is Dr. Ivor Robotnik, also known as Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest genius and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. And welcome back to Would You Rather. And this time, I have a special guest among me, which is a certain genie of the lamp right here. Come on out, Eraser Jin. Thank you very much, Doctor, and hello, you pathetic mortals. I am the Eraser Jin, and like he said, I'm going to be playing Would You Rather. Never really played this before, so how do you play this? Oh, it's quite simple. Think of it as a bit of a morality test. I do this as an initiation for a lot of, a lot of people that I'm associated with, so it's more like, say, a quiz of popular opinions. It always asks you, would you rather pick either one of these two choices and the, the the winner is determined by whoever picked the more popular choice i see now since we're on a turn someone's channel i guess we have to do five lives I'm yes really, indeed that's really, how that's how the system works I'm really sick and tired of this i'm really sick and tired of that guy oh d yes yes he we all know how, how we feel about it. You want to affiliate towards heroes. I heard that. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. All right, so shall we get to the initiation? Of course. So I'll start off first. Would you rather be able to fly up to five meters off the ground or have a magic carpet that can fly up to 50 meters off the ground? Oh, hmm. Interesting. I mean, consider... Considering what kind of technology I have with the Eggmobile, sure it can fly five meters off the ground, but I would think, say it's a bit equivalent to the magic carpet. I would actually pick the magic carpet. Huh. Well, I do know that a lot of people in my world use magic carpet. And, uh, unlike that blue rat, of course. Oh, yes. You know, I, you know, I originally didn't believe him when he when he started telling everyone about his adventure through, through the Arabian Nights. Uh-huh. So I guess me and you are going the same route. I'd rather go with the magic carpet. All right, let's see what, what people... Ah, what kind of we both at 52% agree with that. Ha-ha, <laughs> excellent. I mean, sure, hovering five meters off is, is fine all, but why I do that when you could go anywhere? I see. All right. All well, right. What do we have next? Here you go. This is your question. All right. Let's see what we have here. Would you rather not be able to wear clothes or not be able to speak? Oh, jeez. We're entering this level now, are we? <laughs> I could I could question this internet, but to be honest, I'd rather not be able to wear clothes because I'd rather talk, just in case. So, just in case, Sonic. Can keep. Uh, let me rephrase that. I'd rather not be able to wear clothes because I want Sonic to keep hearing me call him a blue rat. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard he gets triggered by that. Somehow, calling him a, a rat is what really gets him riled up in his quills. Oh, I, yeah, you know me. I really don't care. Exactly. And when, whenever Sonic tries to correct him any one of us about it, I'd always just, just tap into my movie self and say, nobody cares! <laughs> All right. Now, Here's, what's your what, will I, what will I pick? Hmm. I love my charismatic voice, but I also like my suit. Let's see, will I pick... Let's see, either, either one of these. I, I was about to say one of these would be an insult to my dignity, but you know what? I'd rather be able to speak than than not 
I'd rather be able to speak as opposed, opposed to wear clothes. Oh yes, I went there because because I'd rather be able to speak with with a thun, thunderous with a thunderous this type of of cheer or anything to get my future subjects it's ready up and rallied in just case we need to destroy the pathetic resistance i can agree with you so i'm guessing oh, which one are you going for clothes or speak hmm you know what? i'm gonna go with clothes all right and 54 percent agree with that see that and make that makes sense of course of course it would be obvious it's sonic pick because he ne all he wears is it's just shoes and gloves. Yeah, that doesn't really count. So anyway, would you rather always know when people are lying or always get away with lying? I'm pretty sure me and you can agree on one thing. We can always get away with lying. Yes. I getting away with lying is definitely an advantage. Although also however we have, also have to consider the factor of always knowing somebody's lying to us. But honestly, I think a bit of deduction and and a bit of knowledge can basically crack down any any sort of liar trying to trick us. I can agree. Mm. Uh, so, which one are we going for? You know, hmm. It's the it's. You would think this would be a, an easy pick, but like I'm going to say. Ooh, but getting away with lying is such a, a is, great it, asset. It is our thing. Yes, it's the way of villains, but it's also the way of rulers to know when your subjects are lying to you. That way you can crush any pathetic resistance. So you rather always know when people are lying? I'm going to have to pick with this one for the sake of, of, of diversity between our choices. Uh, I guess I can... I guess I could go with the same option. All and, right, let's and, see what they have. Fifty-seven percent. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good at fig figure out which, which choice the, pe the popular choices people make. And Eggman, you do forget that you have a, a few more wishes, right? Back at that among us, of course. We have. Oh, I know, I know. I, but let's just, let's just say like, we'll keep. We'll keep that uh, out out of prying ears for for right now. All right. I am a patient genie after all. Oh, don't worry. I have I have plenty of ideas on how to, how to properly implement a wish. Besides, I want to at least keep one on just keep one in wrap in case of in case of a rainy day. I see. All right. Well, let's go ahead and continue on with the game. Your turn now. Let's see. If you were on a safari, would you rather have your foot have your foot stepped on by an elephant or have your foot bitten by a lion? Okay. Okay, I and this this is gonna be, be quite an interesting one to go with. Actually, it's not very hard hard to hard to deduce the which of the options is less painful. First of all, Let's just say the bite force of a lion is is not a pleasant thing at all. Even their tongues can just can rip can rip your flesh off by just licking you. Agree. So, and an and an elephant, as long as you don't make them angry, they will be pretty they'll be pretty gentle about or maybe even be considering it on on stepping on your foot if if they happen to be a mistake because they're intelligent creatures. Don't underestimate them. Gotcha. So, between the two, I'd rather, I'd rather, be stepped in the foot by an elephant rather than deal with the 650 psi bite force that is from a lion. Surprising you, Doctor? I would have to go with the lion. Oh, oh my! Well, I am. Ooh. Don't forget, I am an immortal genie after all. You know that's true. I see your point. All right, you say elephant. And you, they agree with you. Let's see, who agreed? Uh, you, they, the people agreed with you. Ah, uh, yes. I, my guess is because not the other people aren't, aren't immortal. I can agree. So anyway, 
Would you rather give up Christmas or give up your birthday? Hmm. Interest. Yes, int this is an interesting one. I mean, sometimes people can see me as a bit of a Scrooge on this and think that I would give up Christmas. But I'll be honest. I think I'd rather give up my birthday on, on this because let's just say me being bored, well, did, did, didn't give me the best upbringing in this world. There's some mem memories that happened during some of my birthdays that I would rather forget. I see. So I will I will actually pick giving up my birthday. Not because I have, have such sentiment towards Christmas, because bah humbug, but it's just... It's a more personal matter than that. I guess I should give up my birthday too. I really don't really see importance in it. Hmm. I'm gonna, you know, I've. Speaking of which, that's just got out of bring my curiosity a bit on, on how and when and you were born. Must be complicated. Uh, well, I guess, but I think I I think I was born when Sonic and Secret Rings come out. I guess we can count that as my birthday because I was originally about pretty much my first and only appearance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I heard you appeared in a mobile game, but still pretty meta. Still kind of insulting. Yeah, that's a especially to especially since especially since like one of the storybook games is starting to get more attention. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I'd rather give up my birthday. I'm guessing you're agreeing? Yeah, I, I'd i most certainly agree. And 60% agree. Ah, yes. But, but I'm willing to bet that they have, have a lot more sentiment because Christmas is such that holly jolly holiday that they love to, to keep they like to keep so close to their hearts. I can agree to that. All right. So let's see what the next would you rather we have here. Oh, yours. Uh, okay, so would you rather live in a penthouse in the city or live in a luxurious mansion in the countryside? Hmm. I think, I, I think this question sounds familiar to me. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'll ask, I'll actually ask you, are you more of a an urban type of a person living in those in the city sides just looking down in the mark in those peasants marketplace or do you like to be somewhere out out more in in the countryside of like I know the deserts or wherever wherever you're from kind of between I kind of between those things but I really don't want to see any pathetic people because it's gonna make mm. me it's gonna make me Hey, it's gonna let me. I don't. I can't really talk today. Pardon. But I don't really like people, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's understandable. I mean, you were forced to grant and people wishes, so don't I can understand the reason. But your wishes, I can actually tolerate. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I, I I wonder how Sonic liked being slow. <laughs> Well, uh, I got a little something to tell you. Those wishes don't really last, so he's probably back to I know. Now. I know. But don't worry. Me and Sonic will meet up again very soon. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> so, let's see. Living in a penthouse or in a mansion, honestly, uh, the upkeep of a mansion, I may have robots to, to keep it up, but, hmm. I mean, hmm. If I, I want a mansion, mansion, I can just build one. But I'm, I'm gonna live in a pet house to look down upon my future subjects. I'd rather a mansion, to be honest. But... All right, so let's see what we pick. And fifty-eight percent agree with me. Oh, interesting. We looks like we got a lot more solitary people than than expected. Oh, here's a good question. Would you rather run fast or jump high? Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I just, I see the irony of it all. So let's see. Would you rather? I think let's well, hang on. Let's let's re let's reshuffle this word, shall we? Sure. I'll change to. Would you rather run run like Sonic or jump like Mario? Uh, 
<laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I can fly, so I don't really need to worry about this. So, this is your question. I'll let you answer first, Doctor. Let's see. Running as fast as Sonic has a bit of benefits, I suppose. I mean, he always breaks... He breaks my machines, but not just with his speed alone. Let's see. But Mario has his... Of course, has his parkour skills. Not that Sonic doesn't have any to yeah, begin with. Yeah, Mario eats mushrooms for some weird reason. Uh, yeah, you know, it's kind. Of, it's odd that he has that he has lives in a place place that has mushrooms that make him grow so tall or given an extra life or turn him into some type of flying squirrel. Oh God, you talking about that leaf? Yep. Uh, and oh, I remember yeah. that bell when he turns into a cat. Oh God, he and Bowser. I, I just, I just came questioning Bowser, saying, saying, "Hey Bowser, did you have some type of furry phase or what?" Yeah. But anyway, back to the question. Let's see. I will. Hmm. I mean, I will actually you, pick running I mean, fast. I mean, Sonic couldn't even keep up with you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's true. He. There's times where he chases me in the death egg, and he can never catch up with me. And I, I don't, I'm not sure if he's holding back or what, but I think, but it's just funny to, to look back on how many times I've outran him. I mean, I can fly fast, but jumping, I'd rather jump high, to be honest. Hmm. All right, then. Let's see what we have here. All right. Whoa, all right. 75% agree with you. Oh, yeah. I think I think what comes great speed comes great momentum. Maybe that's what explains it's being a lot of people's decisions. I can agree with that statement. Alrighty, oh. let's move on to the next page and see what we have here. Before we do, I have a question for you exactly. Oh? What state your your question? What started your revenge for Sonic exactly? Well, let's say the upbringing between me and that meddlesome blue hedgehog back then as well. I originally want to acquisition and land for expansion within my, within not, not just really my Eggman empire, but it was more so a more humble beginning. Trying to have an area be more industrialized for two tourists and even make a theme park. Hmm. But Sonic found my ethics X in in going to a certain island and having to have have certain a animals and, and other other forms was to be inside my safe safety bad nicks. Well, let's just say he decided he wasn't on board with that and decided he wants uh, to just grief my, my operations. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Uh, here's your question. All right, so we, what do we have here? <clears throat> Would you rather have Robin from Batman as a sidekick or have Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars as a sidekick? Oh, I remember this question a long time ago. Oh? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I remember her saying I'd have Robin as my sidekick as opposed to Jar Jar Binks because <laughs> it's Jar Jar. I think I, you know what? For the sake of it, I'm just going to stand by that. So I'm guessing, uh, you going for Robin or Jar Jar? I'm going for Ro I'm going for Robin. He's been trained by the gr world's great detective, and he's he's pretty smart and very capable, depending uh, regardless well, of which version. I do need a detective, so I guess I can agree with that. And not and yes, 70, indeed. And Seventy-two agree. Seventy-two percent. Exactly. You can't. You just because Jar Jar has plot armor doesn't mean he's he's reliable. Exactly. Anyway. He got banished for a reason. He got banished for a reason, folks. Yep. So, would you rather take a suppository of vitamins daily or take a syringe of vitamins daily? Oh, okay. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, I'm going for syringe automatically. <laughs> it autom automatically doing that because I'm not I'm not taking no oh suppositories just for vitamins. Yeah. Wait, what? A lot of people what? go for suppository. What? The? No way! I can't b believe this. That's, oh. th those are some weird, weird freak people right here. You keep, 
Look, I'm not. I'm not shaming. Hey, actually, I take that back. No, I am shaming. Actually, just no. Why would you have that shoved right up there? I, I would not have that when the sun don't shine. Not happening. Oh, oh, okay. Move on from that. Thank you very much. That, oh, jeez. Yes, please. That is totally embarrassing. It's not, not just that. It's disgusting. Exactly. <sighs> Jeez, first I played Sonic in the Secret Rings, now this. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's just, that's just the way things are in life. And speaking of, of the way things are in life, would you rather be stupid and have a brilliant kid or be brilliant and have a stupid kid? Okay, now this is actually kind of tough. This, this one isn't so tough for me. So you'd rather be brilliant and have a stupid kid? Actually, yes, because being a sure there's a burden of being a genius for of being a genius, but everyone around you is stupid. That's one factor, and of course, me being a villain, I can have I can basically have have my my kid either follow instructions or they just fail to go on because I'm smarter and I know all the answers. Hey, I guess I'd rather agree with that. I'll go with the same option. Exactly. Oh, okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. Why be what? stupid to have a brilliant kid? Okay, now this game is getting rigged at this Why? point. No, that no, it's just because the but, no, Eraser Oh, Eraser Jin, you know what it is? It's because it's because of people like Shoes that are stupid. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. <sighs> no. They don't know what's good for them, and that's why that's why I need to rule over them. Ex yeah, so do I. Anyway, would you rather have an uncontrollable itch that it attacks at sporadic times, or always have oh. cat lit? Ooh, ooh, yikes! Mm. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Even if, even if I'm not, even if I, I'm not allowed to remedy either of those. Ooh, which one is more? Is much more. Ugh. Which one is more insufferable, an an itch or chapped lips? Oh, honestly, I've had chapped lips, and sure they're annoying, but I think I'd rather pick that over over having having an itch you just can't scratch. If this if this option is less, I swear. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. <gasps> wow, you won. You won oh, 50 percent, but eight thousand apart. Oh, yikes. So it was close. Yep. You won this one, Eggman. Ah, uh, yes. I know I know my picks, despite how many weird people are out there. Oh, well, they, well next time we do this, let's play a game where they don't have stupid people. Yes, indeed. But we'll have to pick one that, that definitely relies on good strategies. I do know one game we can play in the future. Ooh. And that game is called Higher or Lower. Heard of it? Hmm. Oh, just just vaguely, but I never really got a chance to try that one out. So I would be kind of interested a bit. All right. Well, hey, next time you see us amazing villains around, we will be playing that game soon. Oh, I'll be I'll be looking forward to that. And you know, at some point, if you ever need if you ever need someone to do the let's say, the party games aspect of Sonic and the Secret Rings, maybe ring me up as well. Ah, uh, okay. I guess. Yep, it's like the Mario Party May game, and I'm always down for something like that. Alright, I guess we could do that. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell if you want to see more. Also, check out the wonderful Dr. Eggman. I look well, dragon. Shut up. We'll link it <laughs> we'll link in the description below. You're gonna do it. Fine. Get the hell out of here. Yes, I'll definitely do it. Definitely leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and join the Eggman army. <sighs> like what he said. <laughs> right. Oh piece of cake. Alright, well, go ahead and finish up, guys. I'm just gonna stay here.
All right. Well, I well I may not have uh, moved. I may not have just dragged him out of his chair and then uh, invited you here. <laughs> <laughs> I can Excellent. I can hear you. Isn't that the oh, point? Oh yes. Then we know we can the, hear. Isn't that you can the hear point? Us. Let's finish your damn video. Or, or I'll get Blade here. All right. Ah, all Larry. right. All right. Fine. Now. Finish it up, Doctor. All right. I hope you enjoyed this, my future subject. And as always, I will see you all soon. And this is the Rangers Jin saying farewell, my pathetic mortals. And take care. Every single drop of all you got. Got. Got.